champion Los Angeles Football Club. Joining us on stage is our defender, Giorgio Chiellini. Giorgio, we will now take questions. We'll start in the front to my right, excuse me, to my left, and then we'll go to our right and then go to the second. Hey, Giorgio, nice to see you again. Good Hope you will. You. Um, you've worked with some of the best coaches in, in the history of the sport. How would you rate Steve Chirundolo? What what does he do that makes him so good? Uh, I uh, was positively surprised about Steve. Uh, I think that his uh, best uh, quality is to is able to maintain the balance in every moment of the game and in every moment of the season. And this is one very good thing. And he's very able to read the game. Uh, is a uh, person that understand the moment, understand when he has to raise up our focus, or he could uh, leave us a little bit lighter uh, because we are so heavy for other reason, travel, games, and it's not a moment. And uh, yeah, and, and I think is a very huge quality. Uh, this understanding of the situation and the level of pressure on the team. Uh, tactically, he has a clear idea. We are training on that. And when we have time to train, I think uh, we could see also much better during the, the game. And uh, yeah, I'm, I find, I found a friend also. Uh, I, I, if you look at the idea is the, uh, closest to my age and uh, just Carlos uh, <laughs> has the same difference here but uh, he has a fantastic family and then also welcome and help me in the first uh, period uh, uh, in LA with, with his daughters and yeah my the relation that I create with Steve is something that will remain for my whole life but uh, I think he is also very good in, in his job and I think uh, it's just at the beginning but it's depend on him if he, if he wants to continue and to to work and move he could have a, a lot of success in this in this in this world we'll move to the front Fabian Wrinkle from Area Sports Network uh nice. Giorgio Steve said you were one of the best students of the game said that you spend a lot of time in film study with another MLS Cup trophy on the line for you in LAFC. Have you kicked in that study session into overdrive? And have you told any of your teammates any kind of weaknesses you have seen in the Columbus crew? Thank you. Uh, I started to study Columbus a couple of days ago because uh, I expect a since. I want to be honest. I think that since he is the best team by far of the league, uh, and I think that they wasted, they were unlucky, but they, they wasted the possibility to win a trophy. Uh, they were the most consistent, they have the best team in terms of quality experience uh, in every position of the field. But we have to get credit on Columbus. Uh, they they win two games on the road against Orlando and uh, uh, Cincinnati and we understand how much is difficult to win uh, uh, on the road. Their style of play is unbelievable. It's incredible, but the most different part of their style of play, they became so effective. Not just beautiful to watch, they're not just beautiful to play, but they are uh, really effective. They have a fantastic striker. They they have a solid and very good midfield. And Nagby, I think, is the Hard, the heart of the team, uh, but all the players uh, along them are uh, are very good, and uh, they have a fantastic uh, teacher or maestro, as you prefer to call it. That is uh, the coach uh, Nancy, uh, and that's it. We are here. We will know uh, their strength, their weakness. We know very well our strength and our weakness. It's not a difficult game to prepare for both teams, to be honest. But it's very difficult to play because at the end you have to face them, you have to be uh, focused, try to do not uh, go in a bad time of pressing because they're very good to break the line and go forward to 
to going forward to score uh, because they have a possession ball but they uh, they have also pace on the on the top uh, i expected as i said before Houston game and Seattle game uh, i expected to they have more, much more possession ball than us uh, but we we could be very dangerous I hope to suffer a little bit less than Seattle, hopefully, because it was a very tough game. Uh, but at the end, uh, we, we are prepared for that. We we will try to play our type of football. If they consider the space, we want to use it. If they don't consider the space and they wait a little bit lower, we, we will be more calm and try to don't force plays in order to uh, activated their their transition, but but we see it's about game, it's about duel, it's about rhythm, it's about pressure. It's not easy to figure out everything, but but we are very happy to be here, and I think that both of both teams have to be proud of their journey. Unfortunately, at the end, only one uh, had to win, but both, both teams did a, a memorable memorable. Uh, season and uh, we will fight to the end with a lot of respect uh, trying to win this cup. We're going to transition to our left. You have the mic. Hi, Giorgio. Uh, Simon Evans, AFP. Could this be your last game as a professional footballer this Saturday or is there still a chance we see you next year? Uh, the club is open with me and then give me the total freedom uh, to the side, uh, I still am doubt. Uh, I I have to understand what what I have to follow. If it's my head, if it's my heart, if it's my leg, then many different uh, uh, calls uh, arrive uh, in the last weeks. I think that now my focus was just to play. I decide to think about just the game, and I spend a lot of time watching Columbus and not and I, I don't want to think about the future then. I think in the next week I uh, will talk with my family and I'll try to understand better what 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 the next goal and arrive to a decision. Yeah, could be, could not be. Uh, we'll see. But now I'm really enjoying everything. But uh, uh, it's not just about my uh, experience here in US. The last year I start to enjoy every day like be the last day. Uh, I understand, especially after I broke my knee at 35, then in 2019. That everything is a gift. Everything happened after my my big injury is a gift that uh, I work so much in order to reach it, but also it's a gift of the light and of the destiny. Uh, I'm enjoying. I hope to win one one more cup. If it's not uh, it's happened the same, uh, I learned to win, but I learned also to lose many times. Uh, but this fantastic journey, I want to uh, enjoy till the end. Thank you. Going to transition right next to you. To the other side. Yes, same question. <laughs> uh, Giorgio, uh, Carlos spoke earlier about his uncertainty about the future after Saturday. It could be his last game for LAFC. Sounds like he doesn't know either. Could you speak about what it's been like to play with him, what he's brought to the team, and have you watched him evolve in his later part of his career? Uh, what surprised me much more from Carlos I knew his abilities. I knew his fantastic left foot, uh, his ability to pass, to score everything. What surprised me much more was his, how he's a fantastic guy out of the pitch, how much he's generous and try to take care of everyone. Uh, he's a different leader that maybe someone wants to have. Is not a player that talks so much and want to be to make pressure on the teams to train hard every day or something that give give to other people to do this job uh, but is a, a people and a figure that you have there and you know that he represent very well and you see and is very generous and not selfish in everything it doesn't need to be the the star or to on the shine of everything like a number 10 and captain and the story of this club maybe could be mm -hmm. and this is a uh, really a uh, fantastic thing that I sort of, that i discover uh on him uh he, he really take care of the club uh 
we have many players in the same situation, but I understood last year that is something almost normal in this league to arrive with a contract expire and some options to be called till the end. That we are happy to do it, but I think the uh, the thoughts that every player in this situation has is the uh, is the same as me. Play, enjoy this moment, try to win till the end, and from next uh, Monday we start to think about uh, the future much more. We we have just some thoughts, probably some thoughts with family or club, but but now it's much less important than than this game and than this trophy. I'm going to transition to Zoom momentarily. We'll take our first question from Jake. Jake, please proceed with your question. Jake, your line is open. Please proceed. Hi, can you hear me? We can now. Please proceed. Thank you. Hi, Giorgio. Uh, just going back to your uh, to your future a little bit again, um, whether or not this weekend is, is the final match for you, um, how would you assess just your time at LAFC um, and what you've sort of enjoyed most uh, playing here? I didn't hurt anything. I'm sorry. I probably, can you no? Can you repeat? Yes. He he basically said if this is the end, um, what ha, what? How have you enjoyed your time here? And oh, uh, yeah. I arrived last year with a lot of uh, dreams and hope, uh, but I, I I never could dream what I'm living uh, in, in these eighteen months. Uh, it's something that. Uh, come uh, into my heart, into my blood. Uh, it's a beautiful experience uh, that I share with, with my family. It was hard. I uh, I want to be honest, it was very hard, especially the first months of the last year when I arrived and I have to settle everything for family because we are not just player. The easy part is go to training and uh, to play the game and that's it. The most difficult part is move uh, a family with two daughters uh, that doesn't speak in, that don't speak English and move them uh, from a day to another in US and start in the school without no everyone, no anyone. And also for my wife was very tough. She's forced right? she spoke very well English, but yeah, she didn't know anyone and also different habit about uh, uh, healthcare, about the school. Uh, it was so, so hard the first month. Uh, I have to say thankful, uh, thank you to them because they were close to me and uh, with my decision of, uh, also if the if it was some tough moments last year, but now it's getting much better. We start to have friendship uh, in LA, and I'm loving everything about uh, the city uh, and obviously about the league and the possibility of the list that to growing up. If you remember what I start to. Uh, say a year ago. Now, finally, after the Messi deal, we we starting to watch what uh, what I have in my mind, and it's something not obvious, but but I really w w think from the beginning that there is a lot of possibilities. They can. We are at the beginning. Now it's a start, and I hope to uh, come back here to speak about it in the next years, maybe three to five, and we are speaking about a total different league uh, because there are possibilities to do it and uh, yeah it's just a start we'll stay with zoom josh please proceed with your question thank you Giorgio. good to see you um you, you spoke previously about how difficult it is to create a dynasty in, in mls and um, i would imagine repeating on on saturday would be a good step in, in doing that how do you see lafc as a, as a team that could pick up something like that uh, the organization, is it equipped to become a, a dynasty, at least, you know, what that looks like in MLS? And how do you feel about your opportunity uh, on Saturday to repeat? I think that when it's difficult, repeat is much more difficult. And if you try to repeat in a row, the, the, the difficult raise and increase so much. Uh, uh, at the head of every victory, there is the club and the organization. Uh, and I think that I found uh, a, a, a huge group of starting from the owner, then passing through the uh, GM and his assistant and staff, coaching staff. Uh, players, I think, are the I think are the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, 
uh, not because they're not important. Obviously, they are important, but uh, yeah, there is an organization that decide everything about also uh, about the club and about the longest of uh, uh, successful of the uh, of the club. Uh, we are doing something not predictable that we hope at the beginning of the season, but we're working a lot on it because it was very tough uh, playing the CONCACAF Champions League with a lot of travel, a lot of games, national window, we will play without players. So we have also a tough moment during the season, but we were very able to maintain the balance and the lucidity to think forward and to arrive in the best way as possible to the playoffs. We were a little bit unlucky, to be honest, or... or we try. We wanted to arrive second in order to play much more games at home as possible, uh, but we were able to win in Seattle. That was the toughest game of the last uh, months. Uh, now we are here. Uh, we we knew unfortunately with our uh, schedule during the season that we, that it was almost impossible to repeat the supporter shield. That uh, that ninety nine percent the final. Uh, will be away and then now in order to leave this trophy we have to play over our average uh, above our average yeah uh, in order to be Columbus here yeah. obviously play at home uh, is every time very different for us but also for every team in, in the league but for what we did during the season all the trophy that we try to win till the end uh, I think that uh, it, it's still a very it's a uh, fantastic season that we play and just missed the last step. We have unfortunately hit our time. We want to thank you for your time thank, today. Thank and you to everyone. I'm so long, but I. I...